Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to model the new iPhone 12 Pro in SOLIDWORKS. It's quite a simple tutorial, it's quite a simple shape to 3D model. I'll be using similar techniques to my Xbox Series X video if you'd like to give that a look. So let's make a start. So I've opened up a blank part file. If you go to sketch, I'm on the front plane and draw a rectangle from the origin. Make it 146.7 high and 71.5 wide. And from there, I'm going to go up to the fillet tool and I'm going to put a 10 mil fillet on each corner. And that's your basic iPhone shape. So let's tick that, exit the sketch and go cut extrude and I'm going to extrude this 7.1 mil around the mid plane so 7.1 uh, mid plane so now you're getting your basic iPhone shape and it's starting to take shape now I'm just going to go to sketch go up to tools and go to uh, sketch tools and then go on to sketch picture. Now I've got these pictures of the iPhone um, 12 dimensions off of Google. So if you just Google them and get them. So now I've got this massive sketch picture. I'm going to go to full image on the transparency and make it a bit transparent so I can see it and line it up. So now I'm just going to line this up with the model um, so I can start putting in the detail. Uh, now, as you can see, I've lined the picture up perfectly uh, with my model. I'll make it a bit more transparent so you can see it a bit clearer. So now I'm just going to put in the finer details, which is obviously the microphone slot and the little camera there. So to do that, I'm going to use a slot tool, straight slot. I'm just going to draw a line in there and draw the slot and do the same with the circle there. I'll put the dims on, so just in case you don't have these uh, sketch pictures handy. So do the dims like that. So make that 6.5 and that 1.5 mil high. I'll make it 1.6, sorry. And then a circle, same again, 2.5. Make that 43. 43.5, sorry. No, no, nah, nah, I'm just, just trying to line it up with the picture a bit better. And then from the top, 5.6 mil. And then I need to put the top dim in for the slot as well at 5.6 mil, so it's level. So that's the finer detail for the front. I'll just get those dims up for you again. 5.6 from the top, 5.6 and just a little slot there. So I'm also going to do another sketch on the front plane. Just hide that for now. I'm also going to do another sketch on the front plane of the uh, bevel around the edge. So I'm just going to do an offset entities. Reverse it in. So I'm going to do it um, at just a mil. And then I'm going to convert entities of this face again. So now I have two lines a mil apart around the edge. So I'm going to do sketch three first. So I've got sketch three highlighted, which is my um, bevel uh, sketch. I'm just going to go to features. I'm just going to do a tiny cut of not half a mil just from there. So that's your screen, and then I'm going to do the same on the back as well. So I'll mirror this, but I'm just going to do a tiny chamfer. So to do a chamfer, you go to fill it, go on the drop down, there's a chamfer, do a tiny chamfer around the edge. 
phone as well. Just click the, all the edges on the side. <laughs> And I'm going to make that half a mil as well. So now you've got your iPhone taking shape. So now the other sketch I did using the picture, I'm just going to cut in a tiny bit. So I'll just go to sketch, sorry, go to extrude cut. I'm just going to cut them in. So that is the very basic front of the iPhone. So from there, I'm going to go and sketch, um, mirror this chamfer and cut extrude one. So if I just go to mirror, um, mirror plane, I'm going to use the front plane. That's why we extruded it in the mid plane. And then I'm going to go to cut extrude and chamfer. So now that's mirrored on the back as well. So from there, I'm just going to go to sketch. I'm going to draw a sketch on the back. And I'm going to do the same again. Go to tools. And then go to sketch tools. And sketch picture. And I'm going to select the back picture I've got. And I'm just going to do the same again like I did for the front with this picture. So now I've lined up the sketch picture. Um, perfectly with my iPhone model. I've also just traced around the Apple logo using three point arc. So this is literally um, three point arc um, all the way around it. And I've done two three point arcs to make up the leaf as well. Um, I'm just going to come out of that and I'm going to go to features and I'm just going to extrude cut um, at half a mil even though it's it's literally nothing, so I might make it less than half a mil, I'll put it at 0 0.2, 0 0.25. So now, I've got the Apple logo on the back, and then I'm going to just go use the same sketch again. I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna edit that sketch again. I'm going to do the camera box. So if I, I'm just going to draw a box, oops, roughly the right size, and then I'm going to put the fillets on after, and then do the finer dims and just line it up. And I'll do the same for the cameras as well. And I'm going to line up all the cameras and just do a little, add the extra sketch detail on the cameras. So this is the quite complicated little sketch I've done um, to make the cameras. So if you want to pause your video and just, because um, I'm guessing not everybody will have this um, dimensional picture handy. If you'd like to just pause the video and draw this in, um, all the all the camera circles are 13 um, mil diameter, and then you've got uh, eight mil. 8 mil rads around the edge of the box and the box overall is 32 by 30 coming off of 3.85 off the edge there and 3.85 off the edge there um, so I'll just stop moving it and give you a chance to pause it now if you want to draw the camera detailing right so once you've drawn the camera detailing and the Apple logo so obviously I've already cut the Apple logo into the back using this sketch which is cut extrude three. I'm going to use this sketch again. So if I, I've, I've, if you, you can't see it when you exit the sketch, you need to make sure you unhide it so you can see it. So what I've done there is because I've already used the sketch, it's used the profile, the extra profile I've done in sketch four to cut as well. So that's wrong. So if I go into the cut extrude feature and go on selected contours, and I'm going to unselect that contour and just use the Apple logo. So I'm going to select that one and that one. So now it's only going to use the regions I've selected to cut. So I'm going to tick that. So now you've just got the Apple logo on the back, which is correct. So from there, I'm going to put the camera in using Sketch 4. So I'm going to go Show on Sketch 4 again. And I'm going to go to Extrude. And I'm going to click Sketch 4. 
So from here, I'm only go I'm not going to use the camera detail. I'm only going to use uh, the outer box, and I'm going to extrude that up um, 1.5 mil. No, one mil. Yeah, sorry, one mil, not 1.5 mil. I'm going to tick that, and then I'm going to put a millimeter fillet around the edge. Sorry, you can't click the faces. You've got to actually click the the line that interacts with the phone there. So now, so now I'm going to make that a millimeter and tick it. So if you just miss what I did there, sorry, I start I started clicking the actual face of the raised area for the camera, but you need to click the actual line uh, in between the back face and the camera face to to make it select around the edge properly. So now from there, I'm going to use the same sketch again, just extrude up. So I'm click extrude and go to sketch four again and click the camera contours. Oops. I'm going to make that 1.5 though. So now you start to get the cameras to build up. And then from there, the, the flash is slightly um, divoted in. So what I'll do for that is go on sketch and click it, do another sketch on the, on the actual camera face, uh, the camera body face. And then I'm just going to convert entities and convert that entity on sketch four. Exit that. I'm going to extrude cut. And I'm going to click. I think it's selected the wrong sketch there, so I'll come out of that, sorry. Click sketch five. Extrude cut. There we go. And make that 0 0.2. The little microphone hole I'll do the same again sorry yeah the little microphone hole here I'm just gonna go sketch I'm gonna click on the face of the camera again click sketch convert entities and I'm gonna convert the microphone little microphone entity and then that brings it up onto the correct face and then I'll just do a cut there surfaces Extra cut. So same again, it's selected the wrong sketch. So if I click sketch six before I go on to extrude cut, there we go. So I've gone on to selected contours, and I'm going to do that 0 0.2. The the IDR scanner for the camera is not actually raised; it's actually flush with the face. So what I'm going to do is just to to make the model look a bit better is go on just extrude it out. So extrude this out a tiny bit. So we'll make that one point one. So it's just slightly raised there. So now I'm just going to do the final final detail on the camera. So I'm going to hide sketch four. So there's no confusion there. And I'm just going to sketch on that face, convert the entities of the cameras, convert entities and convert entities, and offset those entities, reverse it in, one mil. And then raise that sketch up, 0 0.2 mil, just to get the finer detail. So now it's selected the wrong side of the circles that I've drawn. So if you go to selected contours, and select the right console has got no point two mil. So now you get the camera glass. So from there, I'm going to uh, add the buttons and um, the buttons and the charging port details. So now if I just go to sketch on the bottom, and now I'm going to do the same again and import the base. So tools. Sketch tools, 2D picture, uh, bottom. And I'm going to do the same again and just edit this so it, it lines up flush. 
So I've just done the exact same thing what I did with all the other sketch pictures and I've just uh, made it slightly transparent and lined it up with the model. And I'm just going to trace around the base um, to get the circles and the sound holes and the charging port uh, in the base of the foam. So I've just done a simple sketch tracing round. So just to quickly go through it, um, I've done the speaker holes at 1.5 mil. Uh, 2.2 apart. I've done that on but on all three there. 15.5 mil from the edge, and I've done it on this side. 2.2 mil apart. Same against same diameter. Um, 20.50 from the edge. And the middle, the screw holes. I've just made 1.5 mil, 6.5 from the middle, and the slot 5.7 um, in length. Um, and it's all about the center line of the phone. So from there, I'm just going to Features, Extrude Cut, select my sketch. I'm not going to select a contour, I want to do them all. I'll do them all um, in mil. And then in fact, I'll just make the charging slot a little bit deeper. So I'll just go to Mold Tools. In fact, not everyone will have Mold Tools because I've obviously got a profes professional version of SolidWorks here. So I'll just... Um, cut it again, extrude cut, convert entities, features, and then I'm just going to cut it a little bit deeper for the charging port. So from there, I'm going to do the exact same thing again for the, for the buttons on the sides and the switches. So then I've just added the finer detail, the switch and the buttons on the sides. Um, I'll just go into the cuts and everything just so if you haven't got the reference um, drawings like I have, uh, reference pictures, sorry, like I have. Um, so if I'll just go to the first boss extrude that I did for the switches, which is I'm on the wrong side. So it's just this big switch on the side. So if we go to my sketch. So all I've done is from the 10 mil fillet, at the top, 30 mil down to the center of the slot, 20 and two and a half mil, and extruded it. Oops, uh, extruded it half a mil, and then that gives you your lock button. If we go around the other side, I've done this a similar thing for the two switches, the volume switches for the phone. So let's go to edit. So I've just gone 20 mil from the edge of the fillet, uh, 12 mil wide. Three and a half mil apart from the centers, two mil wide, and extruded it one and one and a half mil. Is it one and a half mil? I can't remember. No, sorry, half a mil, not one and a half mil. And then on the switch, I've just done a cut. So ten mil from the edge of the fillet, and a slot that's four mil. Um in long um, and it's parallel with the switches and then I've just done the exact same thing but half 1.5 and just extruded it out and there you have it um, a SolidWorks modelled iPhone 12 with with the finer detailing um, I hope you've enjoyed this video um, if you've got anything you'd like me to model please leave in the comments below and I'll give it a go uh, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and you found this video helpful. Thanks.